Close the caps back. <laughs> Hi and welcome to WWE Girls All Gone Coral. I'm Ashley. And right now we're reviewing the Raw from the 14th of December. It was the 14th, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I just realised how you were sitting with your hat on and that's all. <laughs> I forgot that you were wearing it. I don't know how I forgot you were wearing it. You're, I'm looking right at you. But... It's very forgetful. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very uh, social. Can't even um, notice it. Yeah. Um, you might be seeing that I'm wearing this rather festive hat. Um... <laughs> That is because um, we tired on our predictions for TLC. Uh, TLC. So I'm wearing it on Raw, yep. and Ashley's going to be wearing it on <laughs> NXT TakeOver. Yeah. Because they're going to be about the same length of reviews, I reckon. Joyous. So, yeah. And then I might wear it after anyway, because I'm going to like having fun. She likes it. I quite like the hat. <laughs> Your start is banging. She's <laughs> rocking around the Christmas tree. Rocking <laughs> around the Christmas tree, how Christmas. That's funny, huh? <laughs> That's so funny. Your poor children. I know. You're gonna like dress them up in it. I can see oh, already. Oh no! This is gonna be an heirloom. <laughs> Pass it down for generations. I know. <laughs> this is my great, great, great grandmother's. She wore it on a web shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Or we can auction it off when we're really famous. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, for charity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As soon as I get my six pounds back, so. <laughs> <laughs> take it out of the pot, darling. Yeah, yeah take pretty it out the pot. <laughs> um, we'll sign the back. <laughs> yeah, what? raw. We watched raw. Yeah, we went we on said a we'll tangent. Sign the back. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I said we'd sign the back. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. right. Got yeah. ya. Sorry. Raw, raw. We watched it. Stephanie yeah. came out. Yeah. Fun times. Mm. And she's like. My husband's in hospital. No, he's not. He's in London. Yeah. <laughs> bit awkward. They, like, they're, like, banging on throughout a whole roar how Trebekah is injured in the hospital. He's at home. His ki- their kids are asking... Did they say in Connecticut as well? Yeah. What yeah. happened to Daddy? And she had to explain to her children what happened to her, like, their dad. He went to host a show in London. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Basically, the day after Raw, right, there's a fucking Instagram picture of Trebekah in London the continuity is just really not there. It really isn't. And I was just like, you could have at least said he's in London having treatment. That's how bad his injuries were. Yeah. Like, you could have just, but no. But no, 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 no. It was, but oh. Okay. Fine. He's injured. He's not here. All I had to say is, <laughs> yes, he was beaten up, but he's a strong man. man. He's gone to NXT to take the time out. Like that was that would have been a great way to plug yeah. NXT. Yeah. Because we're supporting these brand new wrestlers. Are we gonna make them sh- make sure they're not like Roman Reigns? And yeah, like, you know exactly. You could have people. The stupid. Why are we not writing this? <laughs> <laughs> you're quite terrifying when you're angry and you're fucking Christmas. I'm angry Christmas. What is this turning to already? <laughs> Should I do this for Halloween next year? So I'm an angry Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, you could totally do that. Like an evil Christmas tree. I mean, like I need to wear a suit or something. No way. I'm an angry Christmas tree. <laughs> you can see your makeup really scary. Yeah. Though. I'm an angry Christmas tree. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, give me the title now. Um, <laughs> I'm an angry Christmas tree. Don't, don't fuck, fuck with me. me. <laughs> I'm an angry Christmas tree. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'm an angry Christmas tree. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> yeah, it's making the theme song. <laughs> what is this turned into? We're only like four minutes in, and we haven't read really it. No, it well, I spoke about Triple H. It's definitely Triple H. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I only the rest of the ones. Yeah. <laughs> Reigns comes out. Oh. <laughs> Angry Christmas tree just likes this, clearly. Yeah. Angry <laughs> Christmas tree does not like Roman Reigns. And um, he comes out with a big smile on his face about obviously being an up to Rach. Nothing to be proud of. Um, yeah, no. And then Reigns calls Rach and all his family a disgrace. And Stephanie keeps slapping him in the face over and over again. You notice that's what she does lately now. Slap people in the face, yeah. Because women are not allowed to wrestle men. If she was allowed to wrestle men, I think she should have kicked her shoes off and just done some... Pedigree. Yeah. Roman Reigns. Yeah. Yeah. Why could that not happen? She looks like fucking... Silly now. She would be like, that's my husband, bitch. And then she could spit on him and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> or pedigree. 
Imagine if she could lift him. That'd be quite cool. She thinks she could. Why is she quite strong? Yeah, I mean, he'd go, like, he'd give her a bit yeah. of a balance, wouldn't he? Definitely could. That'd be so good. Anyway, she slapped the shit out of him. <laughs> she him up five times. Yeah. Like, and then, um, she says that she's going to fire um, her own mates because she told her not to. Um, but there's someone on their way who might, and that is Prince. Meg, Meg. Yeah. Great. Everyone's like, yeah, woo. The guy that has individually fucked the whole WWE universe over. Joy. Yeah, fun. Mm. So that's that. And everyone's like, oh, no, no, no. no, actually, no one really gives a shit, to be honest. Like, oh, cool. Uh, yeah, okay. He's coming. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they yeah, had Dolph Ziggler versus Dean Ambrose. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> no. Why this, like, why? But this happened. Tyler Breeze and Dolph are done. They're no longer. Yeah. This tiny breeze is like, don't fuck all. Yeah. He's just kind of sitting in the background in the summer, really. Um, He's got a weird thing going with uh, gold dust there. Oh, yeah, I know. Why is, why is Titus O'Neill not with, like, Darren Young? Because Darren Young is there. Yeah. Have they split them up? I don't know. It's a bit weird. Titus O'Neill keeps doing shit, but then Darren Young turned up and I was like, I don't then know. Then Titus O'Neill teamed up with someone else. Did he? Yeah. He was, in, he was in tag team someone on oh, Smackdown. Oh, was it? Yeah, I saw, I saw it. I think it was on Smackdown. I haven't seen it yet. The one that oh, came out. Oh, the one. Yeah, yeah he yeah, tagged yeah. up with someone. I'm like, why is he tagged up with him? Like, it's Darren Young no. exists. So I was just like, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, this match was all right, but I didn't really understand the purpose of it, and it didn't work because two faces against each other don't really work. Yeah. But then, um, what happens is Kevin Owens comes out, attacks Dean Ambrose. And uh, pop up power bombs him twice. He also kicks Dolph in the face, and that that was him. That there wasn't a winner really. I feel like that match was just a way to start a feud with Kevin Owens and Dolph, which makes no sense. Yeah. Um. But I, that's the only reason to have two faces in it, though. I suppose like the whole, oh, you beat up a good guy. I must kick you. Feud. Yeah. You kick me in the face, so I'm gonna beat you up. Um, mm. okay. Uh, so we had our true first by Dallas, but... I was annoyed about this. Yes, I was I. Uh, fucking annoyed. I think other people are as well. Yeah, I was annoyed about this. Oh. The match starts, I think both guys did one move, right? All the time Vince McMahon comes out, right? In the middle of a fucking match. Yeah, it cuts away. Oh, Vince McMahon's here. Get what? out of my ring. It was so disrespectful. So disrespectful. Yeah. Fucking, it pissed me off. Fucking pissed me off. They were there just to make the whole surprise that Vincent Man's here. Yeah. And that is fucking disgusting. Most of the time they only get like a couple of minutes to wrestle in the first place. And they don't even get to finish their match. No. They're there for two seconds for Vincent Man go and better than everyone Yeah, else. get the fuck out of my room. Like, yeah, it's no. It was horrible. It's there was no right. need. He could do it in a speaking segment. Fine. Yeah. yeah. He could do it in a speaking segment, whatever. He could have done it in a match. The people that usually get the airtime. Yeah. These are two wrestlers that need the airtime that people actually like and actually like seeing. But it was, it was just so rude, like rude, like disrespectful to them as, yeah. like, as wrestlers, if I'm honest. Yeah. Because obviously it was scheduled that way. So he yeah. intentionally knew he was going to yeah. stop their match. He's like, oh yeah, let's interrupt our truth and buy Dallas. Yeah. The thing is, our truth and buy Dallas could have a proper feud. Yeah. Easy. Like, our truth is face, buy Dallas is heel. I think it would be quite funny. Yeah, it'd be a nice little funny side yeah. feud. So it's just. That be, yeah. yeah, it made me angry. It made me angry. I'm glad yeah. you thought that as well. Yeah. Cause it did make me angry. I was literally walked out, I was like, you fucking what? I, I, I couldn't wait to rant about it. I was yeah. like, I'm going to so rant about this. I'm going to rant about this. Oh, rant, rant, rant. Yes. No. But yeah, it wasn't, it was not on. And it's not fair for two wrestlers that aren't pushed. Yeah. I would have been fine if they came out during New Day and Usos. Yeah, or like Dolph versus fucking What's His Face. Dean Ambrose. Yeah, because they're they're people that get the airtime. Plus, it would have made sense because Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Linked with Roman Reigns at the moment. Yeah, they're essentially treating these two like shit. And like yeah, like, yeah, shit and jobbers. Yeah. That's the thing. Might as well just put two jobbers out there and go, nope, stop the match. Yeah. Might as well. We could have put two NXT people on there and gone. <laughs> um. We could have get interrupted by Vince, but off you go. But at least then now you've got your name out there. Yeah. Mm. Oh well. So yeah, Vince comes out and he um gets rid of 
um, Archer from by Dallas. He starts talking about Reigns and he gets him to come to the ring and he's like, I'm going to wait for him to come out, I'm not going to like go until he comes out. So there's an advert, so he must have been sitting there for about four minutes <laughs> waiting for Reigns to come out. And then um, Reigns finally comes out and uh, Vince tells him he needs to get on his hands and knees and apologise and then basically Roman Reigns fights like argues back and then says, Oh, in the back in the day you probably would have beat me up type thing. Mm. And then Vince goes to take off his jacket to do that. <laughs> but Seamus comes out and he's like, Vince, you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. I will beat the apology out of Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want to. Um and he says he's so confident that he will do the job that um you might as well put the championship on the line. Um, Vince says there's no chance in hell, but then Reigns is like, oh, why not? Why not? And then Vince not fine, but if you lose, Reigns, you're fired. And then I think it. Reigns should have lost. Then Vince kicks him in the balls and leaves. Hmm. No one likes Reigns. I thought it was weird for Seamus to go up at the title line. I didn't think that was very Seamus. No. I thought it was quite weird. Yeah. What would have been quite nice for a plot twist if Vince McMahon was like, actually, do you know what? I'm going to give you a chance. Yeah. Put a title line, but if you lose, you fight. Like, yeah, that would have made, made more sense. Yeah. But, like, knowing that the League of Nations are going to end up coming out anyway, like, yeah. it could have been, like, a part of his plan that went wrong. Yeah. But instead, James went out of character and said, I'm going to put a title line, when he didn't want to ever defend it anyway. Yeah. Just so weird. It made no sense. Then how about Dario and Rusev as Ryback and Jack Swagger? Oh, exciting. Any, yeah, did anyone care? No. <laughs> Does I, anyone remember it? That's no, the point. I don't. I don't. I don't. I remember seeing it thinking, for fuck's sake. Like, I didn't know for fuck's sake. And I just sat there and was like, fine time. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like, oh yeah, it's time to not pay attention. <laughs> um, yeah, no nice shit. Rusev and Alberta Dario one, which obviously they're good because League of Nations, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, there's nothing good to say about it. No, I don't remember. At least they won legitimately. That's yeah. It. They didn't, they didn't, you know, no interruptions and shit. Yay! They had Tyler Breeze vs Neville. Um, and uh, Miz was on commentary and he had his little me megaphone thing. Oh, did. yeah, yeah. Oh, because he's trying to do the whole, I'm going to make you a star. Yeah, they're redoing the Brian, Danny Bryan story. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they're trying to make Neville the new Danny Bryan. I think you said that to me. I think I might have not good. No. But... When the, when this match happened, I went, oh, for fuck's sake, Tyler Breeze is now a pretty sure player. Yeah. And they do that with everything. The only NXT person that's come up recently to not be a pre show player is Kevin Owens. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he's done a couple pre shows. Yeah. Which is just a bit like. Uh, I don't think he has. I think he's on one. He's on one. I think it might have got swapped in the end. Because another match got cancelled. Can't remember. Can't remember. Maybe, actually, I think there might have been. I think it was like a weird tag match. Or fail four way or something. I quite remember. <laughs> but it's just kind of like they're trying to make superstars out of these NXT guys, but and just for nothing. But they're putting them down the bottom. Mm. They're putting them with our truth. They're putting them like Brad Dallas is an NXT guy. He's barely being fucking used. He was fucking champion. I know. And it's just and too busy focusing on fucking Roman Reigns. Give Tyler Breeze a few to Roman Reigns. Might not work. Tyler Breeze used to tag team with Roman Yeah, I know, I saw yeah, that. Did you yeah, see that? I was like, whoa. Yeah, they both went by different names at that point, yeah, though, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Still, continuity hmm. makes sense. Because Tyler Breeze like, I made you who you were. Yeah. I made you who you Look at you now. Yeah, exactly. But even, I feel like a Tyler Breeze Miz one would work. Yeah, I think it would. Yeah. So I don't understand, like, the whole nether piece, but... Hmm. You know. But... And if John Morrison comes back, <gasps> there are oh rumours of John yes. Morrison returning. Just be a whole used on my trousers feud. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh but god. do you think they'd pre show player in? No. Do you I not? Don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I would love if if John Morrison yeah. came back. He I has been hinting him. about it a couple of times. Yeah. Really... Especially against Seth Rollins. I reckon they'll wait for yeah. Seth Rollins to return. But have you also read that Jeff Hardy wants to end his career at WWE? Yeah. <laughs> Exciting! Exciting! Everyone could come back. I know. Um, but yeah, anyway, this match is okay. Um, too much of Miz. I didn't really. Uh, uh, you didn't show much of the match. It was no, Miz, it was Miz. All Miz. Never won. Um, and Miz thought it was because of his coaching. <laughs> Did you really coach him? I never was a bit like me. Yeah. 
No has a guy I'm like wrong. Yeah. Um we then had um the Dusty Boys Ryan on Top of Dreamer versus the White family and it was a nice qualification match, is that right? I think so, yeah. Because they were out there. Yeah, really they really went everywhere. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was a kendo stick. It was small shit. Um It was better than the one up TSC. Yeah, I still had no, I, I I lacked interest, if I'm honest. Um I actually thought this was like it, I was a bit more into it. Yeah, I was I was a bit more into it, but mm. not Thrilled. <laughs> that was why I was just thinking, why wasn't this at TLC? I'd rather that being at TLC. Yeah. Right, it was just a bit. Me. Yeah. I feel like we on the run up to TLC. I feel like other people could have like, like both and Side Truth have a, like a chairs match or something. Yeah. Just to run up to TLC, like, oh, we like matches with chairs. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Just yeah. to, you know what I mean? Put the other people over. Yeah. Because the thing is, they are separated into circles, and that's why it doesn't work. And I really do think the only way to save this is to separate Royal Smackdown again. Yeah. I really do. Which I don't want, because then certain people can't get the titles. No. But I really do think that's the only way to save it. Dress the titles, go for dress the uh -huh. But yeah, White Family won. Which I was quite surprised about, actually. I thought, oh, Dougie Boy's going to win because rematch. <laughs> I was like, oh, White Family won. I, was a bit, I don't know, was she yeah, surprised? I don't know. Bloody boys are a bit on a losing streak, isn't they? <laughs> They're fucking jobbers now, aren't they? Yeah, pretty much. But Rhino's not even there by next rule. I know, it's Kane instead. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, where did Kane Rhino come from? <laughs> yeah. It was a bit weird, weren't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, because like, on our last review, it was like, is Rhino on WWE now? I was like, yeah, I think so. No, it's just pissing. No, about to turn it to see. He might not be, he might still be injured or something. Yeah. Too much. He's too old for that shit now, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Going for chairs. And um, we have a weird New Day segment next. I wasn't thrilled about this second one. I was a bit confused. Is this the one where everyone comes out? Yeah, basically. Didn't I thought get... they were having a face turn. I generally did. Yeah, it's so dire, but then it, did, it fell flat, didn't it? Yeah. Like, in the end. But basically, they did come out and they say how they did an amazing job last night with you says and Luke Dragon and we want to thank them so can you come out. So they come out and they're a bit like, what the fuck's going on? And they basically shake their hands and say, oh, we all did really well last night, type thing. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that's really, like, I thought they were going to have a face turn. And then, um, yeah, you know, shake hands and they're like, go back to celebrating, you know, but we are the tag team champions. Like, you know how they dry right yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Biggie uh, really enjoys it as well. Yeah, he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, for some reason, the Utah's and Luke's Dragons got really annoyed about it. Which I don't get that. Yeah. Because normally, you're just going, fair enough, you're celebrating. Yeah. You've got, you said, well done. Yeah. Nice one. Well done. It's a very heel thing to do yeah. to then get riled up by it. I thought... Right, so New Day are going to turn face and the other yeah, two will turn heel. heel. So it then happened. they did attack New Day. People were booing them slightly, but people were a bit confused. I don't think they quite understood what was happening. Yeah. So I was a bit like, I don't really quite understand yeah. what was happening. So I, they're like, we don't want to fight, we're not wearing our fighting gear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was all just a bit weird. <laughs> but then they kind of drop it after that. New Day go back to being heel again. Yeah, it's a bit weird. It went, uh, the segment captured your kind of attention because it was weird though yeah like, but it didn't anger me it just kind of made me very what why are you attacking them yeah like yeah why? your face so yeah i didn't I think know. the same as you but it just wasn't very clear what they were trying yeah. to do so i mean i think they could have played it nudo playing sneaky tactics yeah but i think that's how it ended up being coming across though in the end i yeah. think that's why they played they played it the way they have but i don't know we then had um, Brie and Alicia vs Charlotte and Becky Lynch. Um, it was kind of shit. Yeah, I don't know why. We had Team Bad, I think, was sitting in front row watching. Yeah. And then we had the We Want Sasha chance. Yeah, all over. Um, I don't get why we go around in circles with the Divas, because we have Team Bad. Yeah. Uh, and we have Natalia. Where the fuck's she been? Yeah, I don't know. Where is she? Yeah. A bit weird. And I think we need to get away from this now, because there is talk of Bailey coming up. Yeah. If she is not going to fit into this, it's going to ruin her. They all just need to... I think Team Bad can easily stay together and it, be, it work, but the rest just need to break away yeah. from each other now. Yeah. It's just too much. It's it's just boring. They haven't yeah. done it properly, so... No. You know. Um, oh, that's so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, not this Divas Revolution thing. I was watching Breaking Ground, mm. and they were saying the, people, the, the girls responsible for the re revolution was... The four horse from right? Yeah. So they're all arguing about who NXT Revolution that uh, revolution's about and they've just said it in a fucking like web show who 
started it. So, you know, there's Decky arguing, like, oh, I started it, I started it. Well, it's just the four girls on NXT, yeah. bitches. So, why are we arguing about it? Because everyone knows who started it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. People are talking about Bailey for months yeah. and months. And then everyone's like, oh my god, Becky Lynch. Oh my god, Charlotte. Oh, oh my god, god, Sasha. Yeah. It was none of the girls on WWE. No, it wasn't. So she would, this time last year, so it's like Halloween last year, they're all dressed up fucking pulling on each other's hair. Yeah. Like these total diva divas pulling on each other's hair. Half of them don't even fucking wrestle anymore. Yeah. Didn't even know who half of them was. And we've got this amazing thing going on at NXT. It, it wasn't until Ronda Rousey got big that they went, oh fuck, we need to bring them up. Yeah. But I think, I generally think the only reason why they kept Bailey down was because they wanted to give her the championship before she went up. Yeah, I think so as well. But... Yeah, it's actually shit, and then, like, Becky, um, Ric Flair is actually on ringside again, and he grabs his Alicia Fox's ankle, which allows Becky Lynch to put the her arm bar thingy yeah. just armor on. Becky Lynch doesn't see it, because obviously if Becky Lynch saw it, yeah. she'd be really annoyed, and then they won. Charlotte and Becky won. I saw a title for something the other day, it was, I didn't read the article, but I saw something that they eventually want Becky Lynch to be the head and the face. Oh, really? Yeah, the Divas Division. I wouldn't be mad about that, I wouldn't be Sasha. Yeah, I suppose why? she's why? heel though, so I suppose they can have the big feud. Yeah. But, but everyone likes Sasha regardless of if she's heel mm. or It's like Seth Rollins. He won Superstar of the Year and he was heel. But everyone yeah. everyone likes to boo him, so they, but they yeah. still like him as yeah. a character. So. But do you not feel like maybe this whole thing is missing Nikki? It is, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I really noticed her not being there. Yeah, it's the, it's the John Cena effect. Yeah. You notice John Cena not being there. As much as you hate him, you miss him. Yeah. And as much, as much as, like, Nikki has got over with everyone, and I do essentially miss her, even though she's not the best wrestler out of all of them. She adds a bit of something. Yeah, she's got, she's got the persona. Yeah. And I don't think Becky Lynch has got the persona yet. She's no. got the wrestling ability. I think if you put Becky Lynch and Nikki together, you'd have a really good thing. Yeah. But Sasha Banks has got it, and they don't let her use it. Yeah, I know. I think putting them as a three, as too bad, yeah, they're brilliant, but I really do think if you separate them, be even better. they're all going to yeah. just be like, wow, bam. And I think that's the problem. They're all tagging around. Which they shouldn't be. No. I think that's why you notice Natalia's not there as well. Yeah. Because she's got her own persona. Paige is too busy bitching about everything. <laughs> yeah. She kind of just, you're annoyed at her being yeah. there. Just like, shut up. Yeah, give it a rest off. Give yeah. Rest. And Brie can't stand on her own two feet. No. And Alicia Fox talks funny, so. What about Wig? Yeah. <laughs> Um, but then for the main event, so it was Sheamus versus Roman Reigns for the WWE Heavyweight Championship, and Vince was sitting at ringside, and this went on for about half an hour. Yes. Yeah. It's gross. I, I remember watching this guy, and this roar is going on forever. Yeah, it was Because I couldn't fast forward this one, could yeah. I? I remember texting you. Was it Smackdown? It was dragging, though, this one. Yeah. It was dragging. Um, I mean, Roman Reigns won, which... I found out he won the championship before I knew what happened. And I was a bit shocked they did it on a Raw. Yeah. But then once he said, oh, if you're fired, you're gone, I knew straight away that he was going to be yeah. champion. He weren't, they weren't going to sack Roman Reigns. No, not after this whole year of trying to put him over. Yeah. I mean, come on. He won Royal Rumble for the championship. He is, they've been doing this for 365 fucking days. Yeah. <laughs> he was going yeah. to be champion at some point. Yeah. Um, just a matter of time. Before the end of the year. Yeah. So he, oh, I just remember it at the beginning. I remember he talking to Stephanie. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's my daughter's birthday. Love you. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. That was horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now he's like, I won the championship of my daughter's birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Yeah. yeah, so he won. Um, there was an interference by um, the League of Nations, but he got rid of them. Uh, I know that um, Vince pulled the referee out at one point after uh -huh. the spear, and then he was arguing, Vince was arguing with the ref. Then Roman Reigns got pissed off, so he just Superman punched Vince. And that's how he. And then he speared what's his face? Seamus and won. That was that, really. Now, I think the second you pin. Uh, you pinch? You punch. <laughs> you, be, you should <laughs> probably be gone. <laughs> yeah, you should be fired. But he's not, nothing's happened. No, he's still there on fucking Raw next week. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. Not even to be like punished. Hmm. Just a bit humid. Like you can tell, Vincent Man wants him to be 
the champion. The face of WWE. He even wants to do a promo with him. When does he ever come back from fucking wherever he sits in his house or whatever? <laughs> he hasn't been on like, Raw for a while, has no. he? Nearly a year, must yeah. have been. Maybe over that. Yeah. I don't think he's been on there since we've been reviewing this. That's I've only seen him once. Is it like we have? Oh, he comes to a pay per view once. Mm. Can't remember which one it was. Where's Manny? No. Summer It's a big one. Might be yeah. Barcelona, you know. <laughs> Barcelona was one of the better ones, wasn't it? I don't remember. I can't remember. There was a couple of them. Uh, uh, it's been a bad year for wrestling. Yeah, it has been a bad year for and wrestling. And so was last year. We just like really long time. I know. Hoping 2016 there'll be some new people come up, mm. some old ones come back. It yeah, might be better. Re- yeah, revitalise a little bit, hopefully. Mm. This rule, mm. it was flat for me. It's horrible. It wasn't great. But the thing is, everyone cheered in Roman Reigns 1 as well. Yeah, it was quite odd. Yeah, I don't get it. But I don't remember those cheering the fact that he beat up Vince McMahon instead. Yeah, no one likes Vince McMahon. Yeah. What should we rate this, Coral? I'm going to go 2. 2? Really? Yeah. Okay. Just because it was a bit, I suppose it was a bit different with Vince there and stuff. I suppose. Mm-hmm. I'm still angry about the photo. Yeah. That's not good. Not happy. Okay, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Retweet your channel for us. Tweet us, comment below. And don't forget to watch our NXT takeover Take London when Ashley's wearing this. Yep. It's going to be beautiful. Bye. <laughs>